Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to sit down and do a little like what's in my makeup bag video. Um, I thought it would be fun to be able to kind of share everything that I keep in here. Um, I have a pretty good size makeup bag so that I can um, really just have everything I could need for any type of look that I wanna do. Um, so these have just been kind of like my staples of the moment and all the things I've been loving. Um, so this is my makeup bag. This is the Paige Lorenz um, Dairy Boy little like brown Sherpa makeup bag. Um, I have been obsessed. I think it's so cute and I still have room like as you can tell um, in here for more things. I guess actually I do typically have my makeup brushes in there and my makeup brushes aren't in there right now. They're just like sitting here but that's my first thing, my little makeup brushes. Um, I haven't really been using a ton of brushes lately because I've been doing more of like my beauty sponge for like everything on my face. Um, so anyways, let's go ahead and dive in to the bag um, and kind of go through everything that I keep in here and what I've been loving lately and reaching for all the time. So this is the Milk Makeup Pore Eclipse Mattifying Primer. I love this. This is great for when I do want something a little more pore filling and mattifying, especially kind of depending on what like what foundation or like what face makeup I'm going to be wearing. Um, I have my beauty sponge. Um, and then I also have to say this is the Sun Glow Super Gel um, Primer. I love this stuff. I am like the fairest I possibly could be right now. Um, so I'm obsessed with this, but I have, I haven't really been using it very much the past like week or two um, because I feel like I need a lighter foundation just cause that gives me so much bronze. Um, so this is the Maybelline Skin Tint. I have been obsessed with this. It's amazing, but I really love pairing these together because it is super like glowy and dewy and I just feel like this helps it like last a lot longer um, versus like my glowy one. It just kind of ends up being really glowy by the end of the day and doesn't really look as good. So I've been liking this combination um, lately and this has been like my everyday kind of like go to, um, but it does kind of oxidize. So I'm like wearing it today and I feel like it just ends up kind of getting a little darker on your skin. Um, so, I need to find a lighter shade or something. Get me some sun. I need the sun. I need it to be warm so I can get a little color to me. Um, and then I also do have my NARS Natural Radiant Long Wear Foundation. If I want something a bit more full coverage, if I'm doing a little bit more of a natural full glam type of thing, this is what I'll use. Um, this has been... I love this foundation. Um, but this is like my lighter foundation to match me when I am really fair. Um, so this is kind of like what I've been reaching for um, when I am fair. I do have my Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. This stuff's great too. I like spraying my beauty sponge with this, setting my face, kind of spraying my all the creams on my face before I powder, anything like that. It's been my favorite. Um, and I feel like, I don't really know if I really noticed too, too much of a difference, but, um, you know, it's just part of the routine at this point. I have a few palettes. I have my Patrick Ta Major Dimension 3 palette. This is like actually the best palette of all time. There it is. I've showed you guys this so many times. This is, if I'm wearing eyeshadow, this is pretty much probably what I'm wearing. Um, I just can't get enough of this. I love it so much. Such a good palette. It's a little pricey, but it's like everything you could need. Um, and then I also really love the ambient lighting palette from Hourglass. I know they always have their limited edition ones that come out every year. This one was from 2022. Um, but I love it. They're all like pretty, like fairly similar. Um, but this is just what I've been reaching for and using kind of a lot. It's also just really easy to use like every day. Like, I mean, you have everything you need. Like literally I can just go in kind of bronze, blush, highlighter. It's all here. I do have my Milk Makeup Hydro Grip Primer for my eyelids. And then I also have the Tarte Shape Tape Radiant Concealer. 
Um, I really like this concealer. This is just like my lightest, once again, my lightest shade. I think this one's in 20B. Um, this is just the lightest shade that I have to wear like under my eyes. All my other concealers are a little too dark for me right now. I'm like, how, I don't understand how I'm so, so fair right now. Um, then we have contour stick. This is the Makeup by Mario Soft Sculpt Shaping, Shaping Stick in the light medium color. I really like this a lot. Um, this is just what I've been using to contour lately and it's great. I really like it. Um, I kind of go back and forth between this and it's going back and forth with the milk one too, which I also really liked, but I think, I don't know. I think I like this one better than the milk one. The milk one's a little greasy. Um, so I have a couple powders. Um, my typical powder is the Huda Beauty Cupcake Powder. I love this. It's absolutely amazing. And lately though, I have been using the Pro Filter Powder from Fenty in the lavender shade. This is a really good powder if you have very fair skin. Um, if you, like, I typically, I'm using this right now, but I typically can't use this unless, like, it's, like, now because it will, like, make my face look really white, um, even if I just use the tiniest bit. But since I'm super fair, this has been working really great, so I've been using this lately, and it's very brightening. Um, so if you have very fair skin, I would totally check this out. Um, but... Yeah, they have different shades depending on you know what skin tone you have like you are and everything i think i i don't know i really like both they're both really great powders i probably recommend the huda one a little more maybe i don't know it's, they're both really good though okay i have my eyelash curler and i have my maybelline sky high mascara in the brown shade so i can always have my lashes done um and then for more of eyes i also have my mac color excess full sleeve this is the gel pencil eyeliner I actually forgot to put this on today but I really like putting this I like putting that on my waterline to help brighten up my eyes a little bit more um and I try to use every day but you know, every time I wear makeup but sometimes I forget um and then we also have my elf brow lift here this stuff is just about gone, but I literally use this every day. I'm obsessed. I need to get a new one soon because it is, yeah, I'm like scraping edges on this, but it's so good. This is like my favorite brow product ever. I do have my little hair clips if I want to like pin back my hair. Um, I like these. They're nice and they don't like crease your hair or anything, so we got those. I have a few lip products in here. I typically keep all my lip products in my purse. I have so many in my purse, it's not okay. But I do have just like a little set in here um, just because I like putting something on my lips whenever I do my makeup. But like I said, I have so many in my purse because I'm constantly changing out lip colors, retouching up my lips, you know, whatever. But right now, I this is a combination I'm wearing on my lips now. This is the NYX. Um, nude Truffle Lip Liner. It's a really pretty like nude color. Um, and then we have the Maybelline Superstay Liquid Lip and Seductress. I love these. These are amazing. They do not budge. They stay on your lips literally all day long. Um, it's, it's great if you have like prop, like I don't really love wearing lipstick and stuff a lot because it doesn't, it just doesn't last very long. But this it lasts so long and it's just like a great everyday kind of color so love this and then i used the sephora cream lip stain here um this is in the shade 32 and it's just like a very very dead nude color but i like putting a little bit in the center of my lips um and then i've been i just finished it off with this mac lip gloss i've been loving this little lip gloss lately it's kind of reminds me a lot of the Refi lip gloss, so pretty similar. It feels like kind of moisturizing, but it's really thick and just stays on very well. Um, and it's just kind of easy to throw on, so I've been obsessed with this. I have my Dior Backstage Glow Palette. I love this. I typically like using the white for my inner corner. Um, and then sometimes I'll just use this for highlight, this for highlight, I'll mix all of them for highlight. Not really the bronzer right now, but I like using that more highlight in the summer, but sometimes I mix all three, it just kind of depends. But the 
this is such a good highlighting palette and it's like every highlight you could possibly need so highly recommend the last thing we have in my bag is blush so we have the milk makeup blush in work so this really pretty like pinky neutral color or natural then we have the nude sticks blush in actually this is a bronzer but i use it as a blush it's in the shade sunkissed it's like really pretty i'm obsessed with this then we have the mac go glow play blush in blush please which i'm wearing today um i love this and it feels so good like if you do you guys remember the maybelline um so that one's right there if you guys remember the maybelline bouncy blushes like those everyone was obsessed with those i remember literally having like every single shade and i loved them and this is like it reminds me like this is what it reminds me of because it's like kind of like that bouncy like cream consistency it's so funny um but i love this blush and then i also have my dior rosy glow blush in the shade rosebud so pretty i like literally i love that you can still see all the dior indentations because i have used the crap out of this blush and if they're still there so i love that um and then i also you know i have my hourglass blushes from my palette because i love blush and i'm always changing up my blush um but yeah, that's really everything in my makeup bag. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, let me know what's in your makeup bag um, or if I'm like missing any staples that I need to start including. Um, but I hope you all enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye y'all.